Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Pisces, for the week of August 8th through the 15th. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, Pisces, I will leave my email address in the description box below. Just send me an email and I'll let you know how that works. Nothing will come of this situation and bring love into the situation. <laughs> so you've got a situation going on here. Situationship. <laughs> so let's see what is going on with Pisces. The energy is gaining momentum. So I like that it's saying um, bring love into the situation because if that uh, energy is gaining momentum for you, that's beautiful. So let's see. Let's see what kind of animal spirit is with Pisces. Let's take these. The starfish and the panther. Ooh, you're really focused on something, Pisces. You've got your eye on something. And it is very earthy, very um, tangible. You can feel it. You can, uh, it's very close to you. And the starfish, so you're very resilient right now. You're feeling very resilient right now with the starfish energy and you have resources to carry you through whatever it is you're focused on to get you there, to get you uh, to your goal. Nice, very nice. Pisces, Pisces on fire. All right, let's see. Let's get you a tarot card. Magician, look at that. You are the alchemist now, Pisces. You are creating something. You are creating something. And it's bringing love to the collective. It's bringing um, some really soothing, calm energy to the collective. I can just feel it, whatever you're working on. Ace of Earth, a new beginning in money, in tangibles too as well. Beautiful. All right, what are you thinking about? What is this? What is this for Pisces? What is Pisces thinking about? love love is on your mind love that so messages messages of love coming in text messages um instant messages direct messages of love hey let's let's get together let's meet up let's go out it could be um, a group of people wanting to go out king of wands look at this energy coming into you pisces you always get this card so king of wands there is a masculine uh, guardian angel watching over you, has your back, has over your shoulder as we speak, watching over you, watching, protecting you, and helping you to get to this goal of yours. Five of Wands, there's some competition around you, so you keep feeling like you're reaching for this light, you're reaching for this goal, and then somehow, some way, it gets just out of reach for you. You just can't seem to grasp it for some reason. We're going to find out, clarify that for sure. Why can't you just grasp this goal? And two of wands, you're looking, thinking about traveling. You want to get out there. You want to see the world. You want to see something different. You want to see something different. You're really tired of looking at the same things, the same walls, the same uh, area. You just want to see something different. Two of cups right underneath the knight of cup, the knight of cups. My goodness, you have some real love coming in here. Messages, merging of energies, really. Um, connecting with someone you're really connecting with someone feeling that kind of lightness that kind of lightheartedness Pisces feeling lighthearted I love that <laughs> five of pentacles there is that lack mentality that poverty mentality of there's just not enough though there's just not enough and we'll see what there's not enough of sometimes usually it means money because it's a pentacle card it's a money card but Pisces, the key is there right behind you is the answer, is the answer that you need. Those answers are coming to you very, very soon, but you're just not seeing them because you're so busy worried about the money and how that's going to work and how can I do that though? And, and so really, I think that's what nothing will come of this situation. It's worrying about money. Nothing will come of that. It's not going to bring in any money. I can tell you that. Otherwise, I'd be a friggin' gazillionaire. So Eight of Swords, looking at uh, self-sabotage here. So looking in the other side of it, and you can't see all the facts. You can't see the other side of this. 
I think it's because of money. You've been very, very stressed about money like all of us have been too. And I think that's why you're just feeling like you just can't quite reach that light. You can't quite grasp that prize because there doesn't seem to be enough resources for you to do that. But don't forget you have the candle on the bottom of the animal spirit deck. So you do have the resources to do this. Look at this Pisces with the lion right underneath there with the lion's gate portal opening. This really means something to me because I think once you get through this portal, I, I'm seeing a portal here in this mirror now and a portal here in this door now. I'm seeing the portals for you. I think that's going to really mean a lot for you when it comes to money. Yeah, your whole perspective, everything's going to change when it comes to money here after the 8th, after the 8th of August. Options are going to really start opening up for you. Look at this, the Seven of Cups. You're going to be able to decide what you want. Money's not going to dictate what you want. You're going to start dictating what you want. So it's not going to be this choice in the store of let me go for the cheapest one. Let me go the cheap route here because I can't afford it, but I have this goal in mind. I have this destination in mind. I want to go see whatever. <laughs> And so now you're having those you're you're having those choices. You're able to make those choices. So something comes in here after the 8th in August and it really opens up your choices here. Judgment, look at this because of you, because you did this, because you stuck to the plan, because you stuck to the goal. You knew you weren't going to let money get in your way here. You knew that uh, you have a, an idea here, a partnership here, a something growing, something growing between two people and um, money just kept getting in the way. It was like you both had these grandiose ideas, these grandiose dreams, and then money would just hold you back, literally hold you back. Um, but that's going to change. Something's going to come in here for you, something uh, that's going to help you lay down the burdens when it comes to finances and how you can afford this and how you can choose this. You'll be able to go buy whatever you want and feel comfortable doing that. You won't feel that angst of I better not or I shouldn't. So it's beautiful. You're moving on from some troubled waters here and getting out of this sabotage mode, getting out of this um, uh, confusing mode where you were just didn't know the way, you couldn't see the way, I can't see my way out of here. How do I leave these burdens behind? I don't have the resources to do that. I always falling short. I never seem to have quite enough. I'm almost there and then bam, something comes in to take all of my finances from me. So um, that's been ongoing for a little while here, but you're really moving away from that. And I'm telling you, in August, something really big is going gonna, is gonna to change with that. Three of Pentacles, you've definitely got teamwork and reciprocity coming in here too when it comes to your projects and your ideas and your goals. There's no one holding you back but you, Pisces. You're the only one holding yourself back here because you're feeling these restrictions of why you can't do something. And that's just a mind um, shift. Uh, shift your energy here of I can't because and put in the reasons why you can. Why can you do this? What are the ways you could make the money to do that or to travel or to um, make your dreams come true? What are the ways you can do that? Put that down on paper and really, really go for that. These cards all wanted to come out, so I'm just going to take a peek at them. King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, and Knight of Swords. Yeah, so you really do have a journey coming up here. You've got your mind on something. You've got a real clear focus of what you want here. I think it has to do with traveling. And you've been in this bubble. You've been isolated for a little while here. For some reason or another, you've been kind of isolated here. But boy, you're ready to go. You want to go with people you know, people you love, people that know you and trust you. And you just want to have fun. So there's nothing wrong with that. Queen of, Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. So you have really mastered your emotions through something here. So yeah, you're really, really close. You just got to get over this. Um, there's never enough mentality. There's not enough mentality because the law of attraction then continues. The universe continues to bring you not enough or at least you feeling that way. If you know what I mean, if you can shift it to I have exactly what I need. Just soothe that energy a little bit. I have exactly what I need to do this today. And what can I do today? Because I have this that I can do today. And, and it's just really soothing to the soul to to start finding things you can do instead of reminding yourself of all the things you can't do. The Emperor comes in on the Knight of Cups there. There's somebody that's very confident, very um, uh, sure of themselves that wants to come in and wants to merge energies with you. So it's Aries energy. I don't know if that means anything, but it is Aries energy. But they're very sure of themselves, very sure-footed when it comes to you too. They're very um, confident that you 
do want to merge energies with them and why wouldn't you because they're awesome in their eyes so <laughs> but they're they're not, not feeling like anything like a narcissist or anything like this but they're very confident and, and that's that's great king of wands is a very confident card too as well seven of the pentacles at the workplace too so you really are looking at your money you're looking at your pentacles and look at how you're not just too very happy with that after all that hard work you have this look on your face like that's it that's it that's all i get this one that just dropped off the pile that's what i get after piling all of these leaves and all of this stuff here that's what i get and then there you falling back down another another uh rung there in the um abundant ladder but pick up that pentacle and and say thank you i really appreciate this because now i can go buy a cup of coffee i can go do something that is manageable with what you are making something that is doable and be appreciative for that it's how it just keeps coming in Five of Pentacles, again, you are really, really worried about money and how you're going to do something, how you're going to have this fruitful, happy life when the finances don't seem to be, um, so don't seem to be there. There seems to be every, all these emergencies, health emergencies, whatever, that come up and, and you're just feeling really nervous about that. It's just really um, stealing your your happiness here so really shift that out Pisces really shift that out things will work out things always work out you find a way you are very resilient very resilient so you will find a way to shift this it's, it's what it is it's not a problem of what is coming in and what's going out I mean you've managed that already you've cut the expenses you've done what you can this way it's a matter of changing your thoughts change your thoughts change your life I have enough I have more than enough I have love in my life. I have this person in my life who gives me, meets all of my needs. So I'm going to focus on that and then let the money go. Let that, let that fear go. Let that fear go and um, work it out. Just work it out. I'm smart enough. I know exactly how to get through these situations. I've been here before. I know what to do. I'm going to really downsize. I'm going to take my few little things and I'm going to make a happy, beautiful little home here. And I can do that. I can afford that. And, and you're going to start soothing yourselves with ideas like this. Queen of Cups, there she is dipping her toe in the waters of abundance. She is abundant here. She has everything she needs because she's emotionally fulfilled. She understands that there's priorities here. There are only certain things that matter in life. And, uh, the Queen of Cups doesn't think the Pentacles are one of them. The Queen of Cups thinks it's all about emotions and matters of the heart, that that's all that matters in life. And that you win trophies when you win over uh, people and people are all that matter. And, uh, and conversation and when it's a smooth flowing conversation, when it's easy, when I'm telling people I love them, when people are telling me they love me. When I'm telling people what a great job they're doing and vice versa and that feeling I get when I'm exceeding at something, when I'm accomplishing, accomplishing something, that feeling I get when I'm planning the trip. I like that even better than the trip sometimes is that feeling of anticipation of what could be. So just fall into that energy a little bit more, Pisces. It's going to change your life, really. It's just a change of thoughts, change of thoughts here. Eight of Wands, very fast moving energy. So you've got some um, some really quick people wanting to come in and merge here. Somebody's got their eye on you. Somebody absolutely has their eye on you. And here comes the lovers in the heart space. So yeah, this is a soul contract. This is twin flame energy for sure with this Gemini energy coming in here. But you have got a soulmate contract here and you're both just feeling a really concerned about money it's like the two of you are on this poverty trek together and you both work super hard and you both put everything you have into it and something keeps coming in to take it and then you just think okay we did it we're here woo and then bam something happens so you hang on you just shift your thoughts start talking about different things between each other start talking about everything that is so great that you have accomplished and talk about your accomplishments congratulate each other see what the other has done to deserve um 
accolades, you know, good job, good job, you did it, you did really good at your work today, probably nobody told you, and, and you know, that goes back and forth, you've got this mirror energy, so you're mirroring each other anyway, so start uh, building the other up, and they'll build you up, and you, you two can uh, make gazillions together, and that, that can absolutely happen, because you just have to shift this thought out of, it's not enough though, it's not enough. And that's going to change everything. Page of Wands. Look at this confidence. This person is very, very confident. It's like looking in a mirror. I don't know if this is you that is having this confidence right now. If it is, good for you. Because this is not cockiness. This is not, I'm the best in the world and no one can tell me differently. This is true confidence. This is you showing your true authentic self here and, and being proud of that. You're proud of yourself here. And your, your person is too. You're both feeling this this pride and it's God, it's beautiful. I, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Look at this with the four of wands here. This is a marriage. This is a commitment. This is happiness. This is the finish line that the two of you have done. Look at the 11, 11 there. I mean, this is it. You did it. You're congratulating each other. You did it. You had a lot of decisions you could make. You didn't know which way to go and you did it. And you can feel that you're on the other side of this. Look at this with three of cups celebration coming in to say cheers. Cheers to you. Good for you. Good for you. And you're laughing and you're happy and you're joyful and you're out with friends and you're you're, you're the one buying because you're feeling confident with your money and, and you're just feeling really free. Freedom is yours. Break free of this. Here's that eight of swords. Again, you have this sense of urgency. Yeah, but I have to do it now. I need that now. I have to do whatever now and just remove that sense of urgency. All is well. All is in divine timing here. You are learning these lessons of money for purpose and it's all in divine timing. You will move on from this. Change is the only constant in life. The only constant. So uh, just relax. You're, you get there. You will absolutely get there. <laughs> Look at this with the sun, Leo energy over the moving on. Move on from the thought of it's not enough, Pisces. This is simple. Move on from it's not enough. Move into I have everything I need. And you are going to see the difference, especially when this lion's gate comes here on the 8th. You're going to absolutely see the truth here and that is all is well you've got this you know exactly what to do you've got a fantastic partner here who is helping and is a soulmate energy of yours and is a true true friend of yours you've got the confidence you need with the lion here you've got everything you need everything you need here's archangel michael to say the truth shall set you free and the truth is you have everything you need so, and you've got resources galore with the camels. Don't forget that. You're the magician here. You're the magician here. Nothing will come of the situation that there's not enough. Just shift that out. Shift that out and bring love into it. Remind yourself of how loved you are and how much you love this and how much you love that. And just keep reminding yourself that love is, is all there is. Love is all there is. And everything else will follow. <laughs> I love this, Pisces. Love this. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, just send me an email. I'll let you know how that works. My email address is in the description box below. I'm just sending you so much love and light, and I'm just excited for you. Keep me updated on this energy here because this is really, really fun and exciting coming to you. Really big things after the 8th, so let me know. All right, Pisces, I will tune in with you soon. Thank you so very much for watching.